Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers! <laughs> I know, so dramatic, right? Anyway, today I was gonna work on the golf cart and trying to get the pulley off that Honda 11 horsepower engine and trying to get the pulley off of that one. But uh, I see my neighbors, they're blowing out their sprinklers. Today is like 43 degrees. I mean, it's old man winter is getting here fast. You know, it's like uh, I used to always say, I hate the winter, you know, or I love the winter and I hate the summer. It's so hot, you know. But um, now that you get older, right, <laughs> that chill really, it's not desirable. Would I prefer it to be 98 degrees and flip flops and shorts and stuff? Probably. <laughs> anyway, so my neighbor Andy the Brit is uh, blowing out his sprinklers. He pays about a hundred bucks every year for guys to come with a huge compressor on their truck and blow out every zone of his sprinklers. Here in the East Coast, when it gets uh, near winter time, you don't want your sprinkler pipes in the ground to freeze because they'll burst, you know? So every year around this time, you got to put compressed air into each zone of your sprinklers and blow out the water, at least most of it, you know what I mean? So that it doesn't freeze and burst your pipes. So messing with the stuff that I've been doing lately, you know, I've kind of neglected the things that I need to do for the house. And uh, so I got to blow out my sprinklers today. And also look at this. There's like a ton of leaves in my garage. I've got leaves everywhere, man. <laughs> if you look at everybody else's lawn, the Hulk over there always has a beautiful lawn. Darren's kind of ha kind of neglected it a little bit too. Andy the Brit is always doing his yard, you know, but yet he still has a lot. I mean, the thing is though, once you clear all this, the next half hour or so, it'll be filled again. So I was waiting until it completely builds up like a carpet, you know what I mean? And then do it all at once, you know? Fire up the Toro 616Z. And maybe then, uh, with the 616Z with my new bagger system, <laughs> uh, I could just suck it all up. But I might whip out the Red Max um, leaf blower today and just blow all the leaves out of here it should shouldn't take too long and just like get in the middle over there and who knows maybe i'll get a push mower or something and suck it up Okay, as you saw, I blew out all my pipes and uh, saved myself a hundred bucks. Didn't take all that long. I was using a smaller air compressor for previous years. This was the first year I actually used this big commercial uh, tank and it worked great. I mean, much more power, uh, less times to recharge, you know, 
and I actually blew out the zones twice in each zone because I wanted to make sure I got 99% uh, of the water out of those pipes, you know. So I haven't used this Redmax uh, EBZ 8050 for about a year. Uh, you, I left the gas in there. I mean, you know, it's two, it's two stroke oil and gas mix. So there's less of an ethanol thingamajig with that. Uh, but you never, you never can tell, you know. So uh, I'm just gonna prime it a little bit and see if this thing starts up. I mean, a whole year just sitting idle, you know. The fuel is being sucked through the hose and I feel it, and it's closed choke. Choke is closed. Let's give it a little bit of gassage. Throttle, I mean. That's all. all right, what do you guys think of the start?
That thing is a beast. It's a little heavy for a guy my size. Also, it's very bulky. So if I'm crawling behind the bushes and stuff to get the leaves in there, you know, it feels like there's, you're, you're like two or three wide, you know, so in that case, you would need like a handheld one that would be, you know, more easier to get the leaves from behind the bushes out onto the lawn. So uh, I've got all the leaves pretty much, 98% of all the leaves bunched up in the middle there doesn't keep blowing you know uh, I think I'm gonna fire up the 616Z for the first time this year it took a bunch of cranks turned off the fuel shut off let the fuel flow a little but it's not gonna flow unless you crank it because of the pulse for the fuel pump cranked it about five sets of like five seconds you know started right up man This mower. I'm never selling this unless the uh, hydro pumps go.
absolutely awesome mower that zero turn from Toro 616Z it mows really well but I was really just sucking up the leaves I uh, it gets clogged a couple of times if you go too fast because it's too thick too many leaves you know so you go slow mince it that gives the suction enough time to catch up you know but uh, got rid of all the leaves here which is fantastic but uh, you know what's gonna happen in like two or three days it's gonna look exactly the same as before and I've got plenty more to go but you know what you gotta chip away at it a little bit at a time you know so there's a couple right there and I should have about uh, 25 30 more before the year's over uh, fall season I mean anyway so uh, I had nowhere else to park it because uh, it won't go in the backyard with that bagger system on there as you guys know from a previous episode I made this bagger system from a uh, John Deere this is a John Deere one and I fabricated these hoses with like a bunch of other MTD ones and you know it kind of the blade kind of hits the black thing sometimes when you go over a bump but uh, either way uh, really really reliable mower uh, like I said it sat all year with gas in it I did turn off the fuel shut off you know I put stabilizer in it too but after a few cranks man it started right up not a hiccup today works great uh, I think I'm gonna have to go to the backyard and mow that too. about that blew out my sprinklers by myself uh, did some fall cleanup whipped out the Toro 616 uh, Z zero turn put the John Deere bagger on there sucked it up pretty good mowed the back lawn with the beige craftsman the one that I took three billion seven hundred ninety three thousand four hundred and twenty five episodes to make uh, started right up mowed the lawn just fine I think I'm just gonna keep riding that thing until I run out all the gas and then store it for next spring. And uh, now that I have to park the 616Z here in the garage, uh, because the bagger won't fit through the gates, right? The little shed where this was sitting at was open. So I cleaned that up and shoved some of my uh, push mowers in there that didn't have any more gas, so that's ready to store for the winter too. So uh, some chores, fall cleanup, landscaping here at my house I've been neglecting it you know and I had to blow out my sprinklers eventually you know but uh, coming up soon is uh, doing another review I know you guys love reviews darling and then uh, then we'll get to work on uh, getting that golf cart worked out um, I'm not as excited about doing the golf cart anymore because it's hard <laughs> anyway thanks all for joining me on today's episode we'll see you guys next time on mowers and blowers
Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.